Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Nathan Chan. I'm the CEO and publisher of Founder Magazine. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the toolbox for million dollar course creators. So you're probably thinking, that sounds like a bit spammy. Who the hell is this guy? Why the hell is he qualified to share like the toolbox and the tools you need to use to create you know, a million dollar plus course? Well, at Founder, we've done it many different times. We've got many different courses. We've published at least 20 plus courses. We run a multi-million dollar year company. I have a whole team around it. We want to build one of the largest educational course platforms around entrepreneurship. So I spent a lot of time on courses and we've done a lot of million dollar plus courses. So let's get into it. So one thing I wanted to share as well, guys, I'm going to assume that you already have created your online course, but if you haven't, I wanted to share with you, like there's a few different ways that you can produce your course and make it a million dollar plus course. So I'm of the opinion, if you're shooting to create a million dollar plus course, you probably should use a film crew. Now, when it comes to using a film crew, you can find people locally, there's so many different videographers out there. So if you wanna be looking to use a film crew and you know it's gonna take anywhere between one to five days, you'd be looking at spending in the thousands of dollars, plus that would include editing as well. It just really depends, you just have to put yourself out there, it depends how much experience that person has, if you're working with a group of people, it depends if you're working with a video production house, etc., etc. So that's the first option when it comes to filming your course. The second option is you can film it yourself. So you can do all sorts of things where you can use your iPhone camera if you want. You can do screen shares. So one of our first million dollar plus courses was an Instagram course. So we used Instagram to rapidly grow our magazine subscription base and we ended up getting into online courses and our Instagram course has done really, really well. So with our Instagram course, that's all screen share mainly. Now the reason that that's all screen share is because I'm actually showing on my phone, you know, you wanna do this, you wanna do that, this is how you get more followers, this is how you get more likes, this is how you run a giveaway, and, and actually showing by example. So it didn't require me to do much face to camera stuff. The first version of that course was all screen recorded, which is, crazy, right? It's all screen recorded just with slides. I didn't need to use any crazy cameras, film crew or nothing. And that course did really, really well. So I just wanted to preface guys, there's a few different ways you can shoot your course, but what I'm sharing with you, I'm assuming that you've already shot it. So the first thing we need to think about when it comes to creating a million dollar plus course or creating a successful course, right, is how are we going to host it? There's a few different options. You can go full ghetto style where you can just host it on YouTube and make it unlisted. And then you can and email people the links to that. Personally, I think if you wanna build a million dollar plus course, I think you just use a platform. Now, you can use many different platforms like Teachable, Thinkific, or Kajabi. My personal favorite is Teachable. It's really, really easy to use. You can just load your course into the platform. Once you've got all the videos, you can just create your sales page. You can create your checkout cart page. You can sell it, you can deliver it. It gives you everything you need. And like you can look into it. It's anywhere between, I think, 30 bucks to 200, $300 a month. If you're making, you know, 80,000 plus dollars a month on your course, and you know, that's a million dollar plus course, I think that kind of expense is just Obviously, it's going to take some time to work up to it, but that's where I'd start. I'd use a tool like Teachable. The second thing that you need to be thinking about for your toolbox, if you want to build a million dollar plus course, is once you're selling your course, you need to be thinking about, well, how do I sell it every single day? So from my experience, the number one way to sell your course is using sales funnels. I'm definitely no expert on sales funnels, but we've created you know, many multi-million dollar year sales funnels. And the way that we do it is using a tool like ClickFunnels. That's the next tool that I wanted to share with you, which we've used at Founder, which we find very, very easy to create sales funnels. So if you're not familiar with what sales funnels are, Basically, you need to take that person, let's just say your course is $100, you need to take that person through a sales process to be able to sell your course. You need to be able to talk about what the problem that that course solves, what your case studies are to prove that it works. You need to be talking about the benefits. What are people going to learn in that course? You need to be talking about the guarantee. Is there one? Do you have a 60 day money back guarantee? No questions asked. You need to be talking about what are the pains and problems that that person is experiencing right now and addressing that throughout the sales page and the email. So these are the kinds of things you need to be thinking about when it comes to selling your course and ClickFunnels is a great tool to use. 
The reason I like it is because you can create one-click upsells. Upsells are a very, very powerful way to increase the average order value of a purchase. Let's just say you're selling a $100 course using Teachable, you can actually connect it up to ClickFunnels. So you build your funnel in ClickFunnels where you've got your opt-in page. So let's just say you wanna give a free ebook to somebody. So let's just say you've got an ebook on how to diet to have six pack abs, like what your ultimate diet should be. So if somebody gives you their email address, um, that's your first page. So you've got your opt-in page. If someone gives you their email address, then the next thing that they're going to get is, is their thank you page. What's the next page, right? So then that person's gonna get a series of emails. We'll talk about what email tool I recommend to use in the next step. Once you've got that person's attention, then you've got the thank you page. So you've got first your opt-in page. You've given the, they've given you their email. Then you've got the thank you page where it's like, hey, thank you for downloading this guide. Then the next question you wanna think about is, okay, well, once they've downloaded that guide, let's send them emails around providing them value, educating them on the product, educating them on the problem, educating them on the course. And then, so that's where in ClickFunnels, you would create your sales page for that product. You know, what does that look like? Or you can use the sales page on Teachable if you want, but it's probably best to use ClickFunnels. It's totally up to you how you wanna put the tools and create the tools together. The way that you can always integrate multiple tools is using a tool called Zapier, which is a really, really great tool because it talks to like thousands of different applications that you probably pay for. And then once somebody buys, so let's just say you've got that person in your funnel, 1% of people, let's just say you get 100 people to get that ebook, 1% buy that particular product, then that costs $100. And then you can have a one-click upsell. So that's what I like about ClickFunnels. You can offer all sorts of upsells, downsells, and another product, which is going to increase your average order value. So ClickFunnels is a great tool if you want to build a, you know, a decent sized course business. Another really great tool that I think is really important is your email marketing service provider. So how are you going to email that person? Because when it comes to selling online courses, from my experience, the number one way to sell online courses is using email marketing. Email still to this day, people talk about messenger bots and all sorts of things. And we're experimenting with them right now quite candidly. And yes, it is powerful, but nothing beats email. So what to tools are you going to use for email marketing? You can use Infusionsoft, you can use Marrowpost, which is what we use at Founder, a combination of Infusionsoft and Marrowpost. You could use Kajabi, the tool I recommended, uh, you know, when it comes to hosting your course, they do email as well. You can use a tool called ConvertKit, another email marketing tool. You can use so many different tools to send emails, but it just comes down to you and what your preference is. You can use MailChimp. That's a really, really great tool. It's the, one of the ones I recommend to use. It's really easy to use. So it's just totally up to you. But you know, I, I really just want to share that like if you want to build a million dollar plus a year course, you're going to have to have a great email service provider with great email marketing automation. So tools like Maripost, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, um, SendLane, all those tools, they have great email marketing automation. Another tool that you wanna be thinking about using as well is some sort of automated webinar software. So at Founder, we actually you know, use automated webinars a lot. Now, I know you might be thinking, oh, that's a bit spammy, like just don't make it fake. Like at Founder, we treat it, we don't say that this is a live webinar, we don't treat it like it's a live webinar, we just make it like an on-demand training. And we've had a lot of success using automated webinars. So the tool that you wanna be using when it comes to selling your course at scale, because there's many different tools, you can use Webinar Ninja, you can use EverWebinar, at Founder we use EverWebinar, you can use Go to webinar, they have an automated webinar component. There's many different tools. You can use Easy Webinar, there's so many. I think some people use Zoom maybe now for automated webinars. There's so many tools, but that's another tool that you need to be thinking about when it comes to selling your course over a million dollars a year. This is what people are using. Just to recap, guys, when it comes to selling your course, you know, making over a million dollars a year, this is what million dollar course creators are using. They're using some sort of tool to host their course. They're using some sort of tool to sell their course. And they're using some sort of tool to send emails about their course. And then they're using some sort of mechanism to sell, like a sales mechanism, like a webinar. I've found them personally very, very powerful. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got a lot of value. If you did, make sure you leave a comment below and let us know what's your biggest challenge right now when it comes to creating or selling your online 
online course. Also, give this video a thumbs up. It helps us grow the channel and it helps us know that you really enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this from us. The founder mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.